asking them one thing I hear. I, I would love to fast, but I get, I get too irritable. And then when I do the juice, I'm gassy. You know, and I'm going to talk about why that is and how to prepare juice. You know, in the extreme of that, you would want to cook all your juice. You want to boil all your juice, uh, blend it, and then boil it, and then strain it and take it with you. Because it still has some nutrients and has about a third of the enzymes. Or you might want to do a digest at that time with it. Now, I have a lot of different products, so if, if you feel like you want to take some raw nutrition in a pill, I have food concentrates that, that I tend to do because I have um, uh, borderline thyroid issues. I have a history of, of um, diabetes in my family. So I take a, uh, a raw concentrated pill from a farm in Wisconsin. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a 95 year old company, and that's what I use in my practice. So I'll take that because when I did my 40 day fast, I lost all, like a lot of my hair. It was, I mean, I was showering, it was coming out in the handle. You know, and although we want to be dedicated to war, <laughs> so, and, and that being said, also the liver is a, is a um, is, you know, a storehouse that also affects hormones, female and male. We all have both. So, you know, nobody, and I'm sure a lot of ladies don't want to have, you know, facial hair. So, there's alternatives to that, and if you're juicing, you really don't have to worry about that because your body will grab what it needs, mineral, vitamin, mineral, enzyme. And in, a, in a raw form. I don't recommend taking a, a, a synthetic vitamin. And, you know, I'm not going to get a lot of get in, uh, a lot about the synthetic versus whole food. The whole food is the complete way God uh, made the whole complex. Um, the greatest example is ascorbic acid, which is uh, taken from corn syrup. It's the vitamin C and everything in GNC. So when you go to GNC, the vitamin C is in its, is in, in its whole form from uh, uh, a green or an orange. It's a synthetic, it's just part of the molecule. It's, one, it's two parts of a, of a nine part molecular structure. So if you look in a microscope, so if you only give your body two of those parts, it's gonna cause imbalances and it's gonna look for the rest of it. So people bring in um, all their supplements when they come to see me and I tell them stop for two weeks and see how you feel. And then come back. So you're, you're taking all the stuff. You know, everybody has it. How many people have a shelf full of supplements? They have no idea what they're for. You know, you got a bunch of them in there. I got this at, at Walmart. I got this at GNC. This is the nutrition guy. I, I don't know what anything's for, but I'm just going to take it. That confuses the body. And then you get the genetic differences. You know, you get historical and genetic differences in your body. So it's like taking a, a big brush to, to do a painting. You know, specific. So I tell everybody. Food is the best source. Whatever you can't possibly eat, or if you need uh, a lot of nutrients for one specific reaction in the body, you take a whole food concentrate. Because, you know, for me, I had liver problems. I weighed 268 pounds at my maximum weight. I had fatty liver, gout, uh, male pattern baldness, uh, psoriasis, dermatitis. I had a bunch of stuff. And when I first um, came to Connecticut, I'm from Boston, I came to Connecticut and the um, the nutritionist said, listen, you really need a uh, beatine that's mostly found in beets. But if I tell you to eat, you know, four steamed beets three times a day with the greens, you're probably not going to do it. And he's right. But I have a pill that is equal to, uh, one pill is equal to a beet. All the nutrients, the fibers, are very good, and you swallow it, you know. So I actually chew them up now. I like them. But it's a little red pill, and, and it helped with the fat in my liver, and it helped my, my liver problem. And, and I have actually got healthy and lost weight. But I said all that because when, if you take a synthetic, especially if you're doing a fast, people think that, well, I'm, I'm taking a vitamin, that's, that's good for me. But it can actually build up toxic in the body, especially ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C, which is in all of them. You know, you're better off having some cilantro or some parsley. That's 10 times the vitamin C of an arm. Throw some of that in your juice. Or juice just that. Or cook just that. Because the synthetics will make you sick. Um, uh, calcium carbonates that they mostly use, which is in a raw form of calcium, calcium lactate is. Calcium carbonate, which is in most uh, uh, citrical or a lot of the, the calciums, they can cause uh, kidney distress and gallstones and kidney stones and bone spurs. It's been proven. And maybe not in the quantity that you buy from CVS, but if you start to fast, your body's going to look for that and take it all, not know what to do with it, and it can cause other problems. You know, 
synthetic vitamin A builds up in the body. It's dangerous, says it right on there. Do not over iron. Um, vitamin E. When you make it into a synthetic form and you remove it from the way God made it on the earth, it builds up in the body. The body doesn't know what to do with it. It becomes dangerous, and it says it right on the bottle. But you can't overeat vitamin E in fish. Your body will use what it needs, gets rid of the rest. You can't eat too many carrots other than turn orange if you do, because that will, the carotene will actually go to the skin and make you orange. So if you choose to just carrots, and you think you have jaundice or liver problems, you probably don't. You back off on the carrots. It's going to be days to. A lot of people, I've had a lot of people in my practice, oh, I'm juicing carrots, and i got liver problems. You know, too much vitamin A. But the orange pigment actually will come out through the skin. A little sidetrack here. I had, uh, I knew a woman, and she was working up in the paper. She was from Greenwich. She was eight, nine years old and had uh, lymphoma and, um, and a, I think a pancreatic or a liver tumor or something. And all she did was juice carrots. And she was orange. You know, the neighbor said, here comes the orange lady. But she, I think she's still alive today. Her, all her symptoms went away. A carrot root alone has over 200 nutrients. Mm -hmm. Half of them, science knows they're in there. Half of them, they don't even know what they do in the body. God knows. Mm -hmm. So as much as possible, and, and just a small amount goes a long way. You know, one bite of carrot will sustain you for hours. Um, OK, so um, rules of thumb. And everybody needs to, if you have a highlighter or you have a, a pen, this is probably one of the most important things that you can write down. The biggest thing that people do wrong and the, the biggest reason why people have the uh, roller coaster blood and blood sugar and digestive bloating. You have to blend two to three times as many veggies as fruits. People like to do like a pineapple and a sprig of celery. It's just way too much sugar for the average person. You know, it tastes great. And can you have four ounces of pineapple, fresh pineapple? Sure you can. But you don't want to have eight ounces three times a day of 70% sugar juice. So if you learn nothing today, you need to learn that vegetables are your best source of nutrition. Because um, your body's not going to reject it because it's full of sugar. And it'll, it'll prevent 75% 70 of the bloating problems that we have when fasting. And it will um, prevent a lot of the mood swings. Your body's going to be up one minute, sugar, liver's overworking, it's dumping out because it's fasting, and it's producing more, more, you know, your body's producing more or less insulin. All of a sudden, it's starving, less insulin, up, down. And if you have a fatty liver, you have any pancreatic stones or any pancreatic problem, it can just really, I mean, you can end up really sick or in the hospital, you know. It's rare, but it does happen when people do all these weird fasts and these weird diets. And it's, just basic, it's just basic nutrition. I, I can't see in half the books out there, half the infomercials or anything else because it has it wrong. You know, they talk about alkalizing, alkalizing, alkalizing. You get cancer, can grow in an alkalized environment, which is a lie. And our body wants to be both alkaline and acidic within a 24-hour period. I'm going to go over that. So you want to do your more sugary, acidic, fruity-based juices in the morning. In the afternoon and night, you want to do mostly vegetables. You can grow a little pear, a little apple, a little carrot in the afternoon. But you don't want to have that <coughs> acidic, uh, fruity in the afternoon. You want to have more... Um, a couple tomatoes, some parsley, you know, something like that, uh, with a little slice of pear to sweeten it up. Now, I had to re revise a lot of the, the uh, I didn't, I had to take out a lot of the recipes, because a lot of the recipes were made for our enjoyment, adding um, uh, low glycemic sweeteners and things like that. But this is supposed to be a fast, you know. You're actually going to probably be eating better than you do every day. But it's supposed to be a sacrifice. So I can tell you to throw some yogurt and some peanut butter in there and everything else. You say fast every day with that. I mean, that's what I have every morning. You know, I have a, a, a grass fed whey with a polyphenol shake. And, and I can talk to you about if you really need to have a meal substitute, how to put in some powder. Pastor had asked me to talk about uh, vegetable broth powder that you can buy from Whole Foods or organic market. You just mix it with hot water. 
my rule of thumb is get as raw and natural as possible. So we're going to talk about juicing uh, your vegetables, boiling them, straining them if you don't want all the fiber. It's still considered food. Your body will look at it as food. Put it in the thermos, take it with you. A lot of uh, you men and women work, and it's going to be really hard, but it's, it's doable. Because I do it. I do a 21-day uh, purification cleanse where I got to make two shakes a day. I take my little brawn mixer, you roll it, whatever, and you can. There's different innovative ways that you can uh, do it and still work full time and, and, and do it the healthy way. Because these are health benefits too. You know, this is health. I mean, God wants us to take care of our body. When we become a Christian, we, you know, we give up smoking, hopefully. We, uh, you know, we give up fornicating, we give up swearing, we, we do all these different things to, 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 to uh, be a living sacrifice for God. And yet the one thing that we can do that is our God given right is eat. So we eat terrible. You know, we figure we, we, we're, we're doing the right thing, we're, 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 we're married, we're being faithful, we're, we're working, we're, we're tithing, hopefully. And, um, but the one thing we have, the one out we have, is food. So churches have donuts. <laughs> they don't have fruit and cheese. They have donuts. They have cake. They have bake sales. Nobody wants to come to an apple sale. <laughs> but it shouldn't be that way. We should be living sacrifices. We should be walking testimonies. You know, I'm not where I want to be, but I got a goal. I'm not where I was before. It's the same thing spiritually. It's a whole mind-body connection. You know. If we're still living the same way in any area of our life after we've known the Lord for any period of time, I mean, what is that? And that's one of the things that I really think that fasting <coughs> is because it is our right. It's the only thing we have left as Christians. You know? And when we start just denying ourselves, I remember when I first uh, got saved years ago, and um, my pastor said, listen, you, you, you do the quickest grace I've ever seen on, on the face of and I'm like, well, yeah, but I mean, I'm thanking God. I'm just getting right into, the, you know, I mean, it's all I got left. And he said, listen, you do yourself a favor before you eat. Hold on. If you feel like you can't wait any longer, hold on some more. And just pause and wait with that food. Let it get cold. But just, and I did that, and I felt some kind of anointing. And that was my first experience of denying myself, dying to myself, and not self gratification. Food is very gratifying, it's what we need. But it's also part of every culture. You know, it's part of every culture. I eat very, very well. I make it very, very interesting. But it's very, it's, it's, it's part of my culture. French Canadian. My wife is Mexican. I do all the cooking. It's my. It's such a huge part of my life. In fact, it's like work, eat, work, eat, sleep, work, eat. So eating's right in there. But when we take that out, we're gonna have more time. And uh, it's such a sacrifice, you know. And then you get the physiological and the emotional effects that go with it. So the lymphatic detoxification, how many people know what the lymphatic system is? Do you have any blood nurses here or anything? Do you have Doctor, do you have a doctor here? But the lymphatic system is too tough. I'm going to go over briefly on this. But this is a major, it's a major, major role with digestive blowing. And I'm just going to give you some uh, points that aren't. Well, I told them on here, I did this late last night, but well, your lymphatic system is three times as big as your cardiovascular system. That means you have three times as so much lymph, which is protein and white blood cells, lymphatic fluid in your body, and then you have blood. Everywhere you have a vein or artery, you have three lymphatic vessels around it. It's like the overflow valve in a bathtub. It pulls toxins, toxic overload. So if you spill kerosene on your hand, it's not going to get into your blood and kill you. Your, your lymphatic system is your immune system. It's your white blood cells, but it also is a, um, a circulatory system. So your body actually pulls toxins through your body, dumps it back into the blood, and then it goes to the liver and the kidneys to be expelled through the bowel and the urine. In a 24-hour period, an average uh, uh, person will move, if you were to put a check valve on the left and right side of the heart, we move about a two-liter bottle of fluid throughout a day. On an average person, 50% is a reusable protein, which I talked about earlier, your body starts using the protein it's not the liver. 50% is a waste. It's what we breathe. It's the, the, the fumes we breathe, 
the products we put on our body that are unnatural. I don't put anything on my body if I can't eat it. Because I had liver problems. I had really fatty liver. Um, kind of extreme, a little strange in that way anyway. But I, I, you know, I really believe in keeping toxins out of your life. My average person, 50% reusable protein, 50% uh, uh, waste. That's on an average healthy person. If you're on medications, that changes. Your body looks at medication as a chemical. If you're eating a lot of pesticides or, or, or there's a lot of chlorine in your water, you're drinking source water, you're breathing source through the shower, you know. I had really bad uh, asthma and when I put a shower filter on my shower, my asthma got better. Because I was breathing chlorine in the fluoride every day. Um, so that's what, so when that happens, now when your body goes into a, a, this healing process <coughs> through the fasting, these toxins are bouncing through at least, we know, for at least the first week. Well, some people make it through the whole, through the whole fast. Those toxins are, are neuro, neurotransmitter, uh, neurotoxins that interfere with the absorption of other stuff in your body and your hormones in your body, not just your male and female hormones, but all the different hormones. You know, your, uh, your dopamines, your, 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 your uppers and downers, natural uppers and downers. So you're going to have the mood swings as you're detoxing. You know, sometimes it'll come off the skin. You know, you're doing a fast, you get skin rash. What the heck is this? Might be something you're juicing, or it might just be your body detoxing. But it definitely is a process that that's the way your body starts eating the fat. So it's pulling through, not through the blood so much, it's through the lymphatics back to the liver. And then all of a sudden your body starts, that's why we lose weight when we, when we diet. You know, but whether you're the two liter a day, 50-50 ratio or not, you're going to have some, some healing crisis. Um, and, um, and that's what gives you like the flu-like symptoms. <clears throat> so you, get, you might even feel like you're getting a cold. You get the runny nose, you get the headache over the eyes or behind the head. This is usually the detox headache. Um, you might have a, a brown urine, dark urine, pungent smell. That's all the, the lymphatic system pulling out. It's healthy, but it, 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 it is a healing crisis. Because your body's used to using different nutrients, it's not getting it anymore. Liver starts stumping. Your body starts literally eating itself, but it's eating toxins along with good stuff. The symptoms are you'll uh, you'll be definitely urinating more. Yeah, you know, because you're going to be drinking a lot more water too, which we'll go over. Um, you might notice that you have more bowel movements, especially in that first seven-day period, as your body's starting to pull the mucosus lining off the intestine. And, and you know, we all have a mucosus lining in our intestines, but we're the number, you know, we're the number one leaders in diabetes, uh, obesity, um, uh, digestive problems, heart disease. We're supposed to be the leaders in healthcare, and we're sicker than any other um, nation. You know, you got, you got France; they drink more. Wine, smoke cigarettes, butter, cream, fat, cheese shops on every corner, cheese sandwiches, cheese, cheese, cheese. Cholesterol is about 350. They, they have minute heart disease. So it's obviously not the cheese. It's something that they're doing with the cheese. It's something that you know, something that's in the food, the toxins here, shelf life, and everything else. And if anybody ever 